Hey, this is Such Destroyed XCDX, and I'm going to be unboxing this NAS case. Um, I haven't seen anybody open this case. So, on YouTube, I tried to look it up, and nobody fucking opened it. So, kind of just showing you it. And I'm going to be setting it up, too. Uh, I'm not going to have, like, hard drives that are super, like, high terabyte, because I, don't, I need to buy them still. I'm waiting on stuff, so. But... I'm going to be setting this up. Uh, you guys have probably seen the Synology NAS. If you guys didn't see that video. I had that for two years. And now I'm upgrading to this. I'm basically building my own. So I'm going to open this up. Um, see how it is. I'm going to do this one handed. You know how it goes. So it's always harder one handed. Um, I have no idea what this is. It looks like tack paper. Probably for the sides, for the back or something, we'll see. And we're going to have to flip it. So I'm going to have to put it, you down real quick. Alright, moment of truth. Putting it, picking it up so it's upside down. Blangle, blangle, blangle. Alright, we have some screws here, perfect. You guys can see that. My room's a little messy, but you know, it's shit. Uh, take this little part off right there there it is it's looking pretty good it's kind of cold because it's still winter just came out from outside and blam that's the back the reason i'm going to trying to show you the case because nobody fucking shows anything in the inside and i kind of wanted to know how the sata cables were set up but i'm pretty sure they're all like, uh, you have to plug them in individually. I know it's a little, a little bad for me showing you guys. Oh, it's actually pretty fucking small. It's not smaller than my Synology, but it also has more bays. It coming out. Nice bay. Okay, so we're gonna uh, probably unscrew it. I need to get screws and stuff, and then I'll show you guys the inside of it. Because that's the part you're probably war wondering about, but it's pretty small. It's definitely not smaller than my Synology, though. Feels good. Is that a reset? No, I'll get you guys in the light. I think it's a reset. Yeah. I'm not sure if the I'm going to be able to have these plugged in, but you know, I don't need these plugged in anyway, but we'll see. I'm going to get this all set up, but I'm going to open it up so, you, so I can show you guys what's inside. Okay, you were in it, and as much as I thought, I knew it, so it is entirely all the SATA cables, so one, two, three, four, five, six, so you need six, at least six SATA cables to connect it, which I'll show you guys what I got to get it to work with my other system, if you, or mother, my motherboard, because it only has four SATA cables, and then uh, I got a PCI to SATA cables. Hopefully that works. We'll see. <laughs> um, and the way you kind of power it is with this uh, right here. It's old connector. This is. I'm pretty sure a lot of cables still have this, but it's pretty old cable. And they, it's also over here don't know this is actually for the this is actually for the fans and then ones over here if you guys can see it there it's blurry right here so that powers all of the uh, SATA connections which seems a little sketch but I'm sure it'll work we'll see we'll see but yeah this we need actually three of these because this one also those are the fan for the fans so when it, your ha hard drives are moving they don't get too hot and then here is the oh, what is that the power switch it's the power switch yeah and here's the usbs and then that's basically it 
when I looked at it, I wanted to know if they were connected, as in, like, say, these two would connect to each other. I don't know if that would work at all, but there are six of them, so you're going to have to have six, at least, to be able to use it. So, we're going to put all this together. Uh, I'm going to show you the, the power, um, what's it called? The power supply that I got that would fit in here, because you need a small one. Look how fucking small this needs to be for the power supply. So you're going to have to get a specific flex power supply. That's what it's, it's mini flex or something like that. That's what they call it. Um, I got a 80 plus certified. I would not recommend not getting an 80 plus certified just because it could fry your entire system. Eventually, it, it won't do it immediately, but you don't want it to fry and fuck up all your shit. So you might as well get an 80 plus certified. Some... Sometimes uh, 80 pluses do fry and stuff like that, but you you want to ha make sure your um, your stuff's not gonna fry. So I'm gonna show you guys that power supply and then start putting this all together. I might not put it all together on video, but I'm gonna at least show you guys part part by part um, how it's fitting and hopefully it fits. If it doesn't, it sucks to suck, but. Um, if you guys don't know how to take this apart, it's super easy before I go to the power supply. Um, so here's the, the lid. Just take out the screws in the back. If you guys don't know how to take out a screw, you're a lost cause and you shouldn't be building a PC anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it's just these five screws. One, two, three, four, five. And it's super easy. So I'm going to go show you the power supply and then I'm going to put it inside. So this is what I'm going to be putting in to the system. It's what it's called. This is like literally the only flex power supply I could find that's 80 plus certified. There's one that uh, it says to, it, you could buy for like 30 bucks. This is an $80 power supply. It's super expensive. But it's by Silverstone. Uh, it's a company that's well known. 80 plus gold flex. And this is the port, PCI port uh, thing I'm getting. I still have to cut it. but Well, let's get to the power supply. It was already pre-opened, kind of, didn't have any, like, stickers, something like that. And looks, look how small it is, because it needs to be this small. It's 30, uh, 350 watts, which should be fine for what I'm doing. And, you know, you guys know what a power supply looks like, so. Got some fucking gel stuff here. You know, just a cord and the power supply. Wham. See, we got an on and off switch. The the one that that one that's thirty, um, through thirty bucks that it says you could buy combo with the uh, system that I got that didn't even have a power switch, which is terrible. You should always have a power switch on your power supply. So, well, you could say, oh, you're supposed to like unplug it. You can unplug it to turn it off. No, you should be able to turn it off with a switch. Um, so yeah. I'm going to put this in, um, I'm going to show you guys basically piece by piece. I'm uh, putting this part in first, and then I'll open this up actually right now. I'm going to cut it off screen real quick. So this is the PCR card that I've got, and it comes with SATA cables, which I'm not going to need because you guys know it came with, uh, but it only comes with two when this is a four card, um, four slot card. Let me open it up real quick. There it is. Nice and small. Uh, you can take off this um, IO shield or I forgot what it's called. Well, hopefully it works. We have not tested it yet. But it comes with the fucking drivers, which I hope it just plug and plays. A lot of people said it does, but it, it's going on Linux. It's not going on Windows, so <laughs> we're going to find out. Uh, we'll see. All right, I was putting this in. Just one thing to note, if you guys are putting this together, or you guys are kind of like wanting to learn. So this has one screw right here. You're going to have to take off that one screw and then put it right in there. This has a two screw system, though, and it doesn't have another screw. But I'm probably going to just keep that one. And then also you screw it into the, the back 
obviously, just like normal power supplies. So, just has one screw, this has two, but if you really want, you could drill a hole, but I'm not gonna do that. You know what's sad about this? You know how I was praising the, uh, the power switch? It doesn't fit because of the power switch, so I'm gonna have to cut this. Fucking horse shit. I was praising it, and then gets in the way. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna be, I'll probably get a Dremel, cut these straight right here. It's gonna not look the best, but it's the back of the system. You're not gonna see it much. So that is one thing when you get, you guys get the, if you guys get it, that you're gonna have to cut this horse shit. But I'm gonna get a Dremel, easy clap. We'll be back. Okay, so I got it cut now. Uh, you know, not the best ever, but you know, good enough. It's a little sharp on the inside. I'm gonna sand that down a little, or grind that down a little bit uh, with something. It's just so it's not super sharp on the inside. But it's on the inside, not the outside. So if you touch the outside, you're gonna be fine. But if you touch the inside, like, and scrape your hand, it's, you're gonna get a cut. But um, it, it fits. You know, I gotta fit it up. And it doesn't look pretty, but it's in the back of the system. You're not going to see it. And I want to make sure I have a good known power supply. This is a known good power supply. And not a fucking shitty one. So, good. I'm just going to sand that down a little bit. Uh, not too much, but, you know, just on the inside, not the outside. I, I don't give a shit if it looks too pretty. Or not pretty. But, fits now. Kind of sucks they have to do that, but you don't want a shitty power supply in your system. Alright. Okay, got it all set up now, or at least, you know, in. So what I ended up doing is it, it still has a gap, but I put the black plate back on. And you guys can see it. It's stupid fucking focus is terrible. Focus is so bad. I just want to turn off the focus. But anyway, right here, I just put this the screw in and it has still has a gap but it, it holds a lot better with it in and these are the screws that came with the power supply I did check these test these and put them in there before and I was like oh that's fine but they don't have enough like outer thread to look and it also looks better in black in my opinion and yes there's only three in the back this one's for the well, case cover but yeah that's in now I'm gonna put in the Motherboard, I gotta take it out of that system still. You guys can see it, it's really bad in shadows. So I gotta take it out of that and put it all in here and hopefully it'll work. It'll be, we'll get there, we're getting there. I have no idea what this is though, on this power supply. I'm sure it's for something, but uh, it has it. I don't even think we were gonna use it though, but it's kinda weird. Gonna set that up and see if it all works and fits because I haven't tested fit it or checked or anything. We're gonna see. Alright, back. Okay, fitment is going to be scary. I put the PCI or the IO shield on the back already. Um, it's the right way. It's gonna be scary mostly for this fucker, um, but luckily I think it's upside down. So you set it upside down and then uh, the card can be used because it's not interacting with it. If it was on the bottom, it would not fucking work. So we're going to fit it up and hopefully it'll be fine up there. But it's just going to be sitting there. It's not going to be held up by anything like it usually is. But it's a tiny one. It's not the fucking huge, like a huge PCI slot. So we'll see. I'm going to fit it up and show you guys. Yeah, here, here it is. So while I was checking all the cords, basically hooking it up before I put it in, uh, I, I seen this again, and I didn't know it was hooked up to this. I'm not sure what it's used for. If you guys know in the comments, tell me. Um, because I don't see anywhere I could hook it up to, and I've never seen it, a power supply do this. And maybe just be for the flex one, but it's a little weird to me. Weird. I don't know where you would put 
quite a is it check it's supposed to like check for something I don't know what it, it you don't put it on the, the PC or the motherboard anywhere so I'm not sure where what it use it's used for you guys know in the comments just tell me I'm hooking gonna hook it up and see if everything works fine without it I'm sure it will but yeah, it hooks up to this I've never seen that before I'm used to like just it being normal. That's weird. All right, I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> we'll see. It's kind of weird for me. All right. Okay, I'm peeved off a little bit by putting this in because uh, the screws that it comes with doesn't fucking fit. So I had to get these screws. I basically stripped them in the beginning, trying to use their screws, and the only ones that would fit was the tiniest ones. It's like really tiny and it, it would it would go basically through the board or we would just break the board so I got screws from this if you guys ever buy these these are just kind of cheap ones these ones fit they're perfect for it and I have it all set up in there I have to do all the wiring now which is a bitch to do so I found out that it does have a PCI slot basically right here so you break it and then you can put it in um, so I'm gonna probably do that we'll see uh, I might just not break this just because I don't like having it break away and if I down the line if I don't swap out the motherboard I don't really know if I'll be able to fix it but it has this little thing right here you can unscrew we'll see what I do about it but it's kind of cool because yeah, it'll it'll fit the PCI slot. I did not know that until now. And the PCI slot is on the top right here, so it should be fine, and it should shouldn't fit. Well, we'll actually test that right now. So you have it. I unscrewed it. Maybe I'll put it back on. We'll see. Uh, but we we'll just put put it right in. And it's fine. It fits perfectly. So that's where four of them are gonna be. Well, maybe. Because I, I want to try and get, the, I have the SSD that I also, still have to put in here. Maybe have two SSDs for one for cash. Uh, we'll see. But it's working now. I, I need to hook everything up. and I probably will put this here. We'll see. I, I don't know if I want to break it though. We'll see. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Because I could just leave it here, but then it's going to be able to pop out. We don't want that. We want it to be secure. So it's, it's kind of good that it, it, it can support uh one pci slot so i'm probably gonna do that well get all that together and i'm gonna plug in most of it and see if it works uh i don't know if i'm going to i might just test it right now not put in all the hard drives because i still have to take everything off my uh other um my other nas and i gotta put all that back onto my computer gotta make space for my computer and then move it all back to this NAS. And hopefully this NAS will not crash overnight. Like basically what I'm saying is like uh, say if it freezes and stuff. I don't want that. Hopefully it doesn't do that. Because I have, I have a computer right now that uh, freezes. But it, it takes days for it to freeze. Because I want this NAS to be able to stay on for like multiple days, months. And not ever have to worry about like it freezing or crashing. So... And my the NAS right now that I have is doesn't do that, but it's not as powerful as this because this has more gigs of gigabytes of RAM. But uh, I'm gonna set up everything and gonna plug everything in. I do have two things plugged in, but obviously I still need to get the power supply back in because I had to screw it in and it wouldn't let me fit while I was screwing in. But yeah, let's do that. So don't put in the power supply first, but I had to test it anyway to get this because you know want that I almost cut myself because I didn't really do it that well all right yep okay, I just wanted to show you guys how it's set up so you take this little part off right here it's a little plastic piece I uh, just wanted by one screw and it kind of hides it so you can slide it in the way I think this is how you do it no you don't slide it in so you kind of I might have to unscrew it again and screw it back in. That's probably how the way it is. 
Unless I can bring it in like this. See, it's a little weird. It's not like a normal. Oh, never mind. I could just. It is kind of normal. Maybe I'm just being dumb. Yeah, it is no normal. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> Uh, I thought it was like you kind of slide it and it would probably look better if you did it that way, but obviously this is the way it's intended. Some, uh, Cause you know, I, I think that I thought it would be a little bit different, but so you hit the sc you screw it in right here and then you just screw this back on. So it's kind of cool. Go ahead and do that now. Just wanted to show you how it's set up. It's kind of cool took off this. Honestly, I didn't even need to take this off. But looks cleaner, I guess, maybe. If you think so. Cuz I got I could have just kept it on cuz it doesn't do anything. Eh, oh well. Yeah, that's how I have it. And I'm going to screw it in and do some wiring. Okay, so I got it all plugged in. I only put two hard drives in for the test. Obviously, the SSD as well, because it's still on the test system. Everything's plugged in. A lot of wires that I'm not using because this doesn't use CPU power. It only uses normal, the normal one. And I plugged this in over here. It has both of them plugged in. I'm pretty sure you have to plug plug them both in. Hopefully, it doesn't fuck it if it's. But I'm pretty sure you need both of those plugged in for the SATA power. And yeah, everything's plugged in. I'm going to test this all, see if it works. Um, but I'm going to test it before I put everything together. Obviously, I'm going to move all the wires and make it look all nice. But this is it open up right now. And there's only two hard drives in it at the moment because that's what I tested with my other one. And then eventually I'm gonna have to move all of the, my stuff from the, you know, my storage, from my Synology to my computer and then move it over to this because it basically re reformats your system when you add more hard drives or basically reset set everything. Plus, because if I take those eight terabytes it's just going to reformat those and then i'm going to lose all that data so i got to move it all the way back onto my computer and then move it back so hopefully it'll all fit <laughs> but yeah that's it's all set up i just have to test it now hopefully nothing fucking breaks um i'm gonna have to put this like uh sticky sticky substance to use like i can't screw it down so i'm just gonna sticky substance it and i'm gonna hopefully Add another SSD as well. Maybe. We'll see. Just for cash. We'll see. I, I have not decided yet. I'm waiting on money to come in. But we'll see. I'm going to go test it now. So I plugged it in. I, I didn't check it yet. But apparently you only have one of them plugged in. I had them both plugged in and they would not turn on. So just one of these plugged in. And it's cool that it's blue. It has like blue and green lights going. Um, but like I said, it wasn't starting. It was getting power to just this. Now all of these lights are turning on. So only one set of thing. You could use this one or that one. Not both. Both of them did not let me do it. And it's, it's, it's loud, but I'm fine with it being a little bit loud. Um, I haven't tested the SATA cables yet. I gotta test everything. I just wanted to tell you guys that because don't do that because it would not turn on. Just a little bit of troubleshooting. Uh, I gotta check and see uh, if it's turned on correctly and stuff. So I'm gonna do that now. Gotta check the monitor and stuff and also see if it's online. And then if it is, I gotta redo everything basically by reinstalling the the stuff eventually, not right now, because like I said, I'm just getting this all tested and then I gotta swatch it. Sorry guys if you're listening to you. I have LCS playing in the background. 
turn that off. But yeah, got that all set up and hopefully it'll work. I gotta check it all though. And then it'll be done. Put it all together and it'll look good. Obviously the cords are all fucked up right now, but we'll get it all. We'll get it all. Alright. So got it running and here it is. Here's the true NAS. Right there, bam bam bam. And it's all running fine. It's got I got all the SATA cables on here. I'm not sure which one I um because I didn't check. Obviously, I didn't want to look through all of them. But I'm hoping these ones are the ones that are like I'm running on. So it, it's, it's an accurate representation of what the ones are using. But I'm pretty sure it is running through this, uh, this uh, PCIe. Because the other ones are also hooked up through there. And then I have one more slot that I could use for another SSD. So I could use it for cache. Um, which is nice, and then it'll be a full system. I, mean, I still gotta put it all together, but basically done. It looks fucking sick. It has green and blue. It might be a little bit annoying at night, but I don't think it'll be that annoying. I think the the fan is more annoying than probably the lights. You guys can hear how loud it is. A lot, 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 lot louder than my other NAS. But I'm probably going to get rid of that NAS and use this one. Yeah, looking sick. There's the true NAS set up. I'll show you the video that it I have on here. Only one video. It's the discs looking good. They're very, very, very small. Like I said, I'm using... Very shitty discs. We're going to buy more when I get my money. Let's go to Plex. This is what I'm using it for. Uh, there's the Plex uh, Arcane. Let's see how good it runs. that system mute it what are we at 1080p max maximum 1080p running flawlessly I just Hit the arrow key so it would move a little bit up just to show you that it runs better than my other one. Ah, it's kind of shit right now. But let's see, see it lo loading basically. You guys know what load bars are? It's loading a little bit better than it's running right now. See, it's running. Hasn't, hasn't had a hiccup. Hit the arrow key. We have a little bit loaded. Hit the arrow key. See how fast it loads. For a new scene. This is basically like a minute passing. A minute or two. Maybe three. Eh, it's not that bad. But when you're watching a video movie or an episode, you're not really skipping through it. But this is... See, finally... Got back to it, and it once it gets to it, it doesn't like like stop like my uh, Synology does. So that's what I like about it. And I also could change it. It's 1080. I could put it down to medium. I. Well, it's kind of weird that the maximum is different than these ones. But I can go to 720p, I'm sure it'll load a lot better. Let's see. But I'm I'm glad I can even run the 1080. That kinda looks like shit right now, but a little load. Eh, it's not that bad, but definitely running it better at 1080. So that's basically why I'm getting it. 
set up to this one now. Better video than my other one. And I have more storage in it. I have six slots I could put up. I, I only put two in right now. I'm going to put all six of them in. That's what it looks like outside of it. You screw, put screws in. I only put four screws instead of three. You can put all three of them in. I just put the uh, two on each side because four is kind of, or three, six is kind of overkill. Four is fine. But it is four and as, so, because these hard drives are going to be used every time, every, like, minute you're using it. So, it's what NAS's, NAS, NAS's kill hard drives over time. But I'm going to have to buy more hard drives. Might get the, another SSD. Waiting on money to come in, so. Once this full system comes in, I'll, I'll tell you how much I got in it. Because, say I, uh, I was talking about the other one. I only have nine in my uh, current NAS. But I have one, eight, or two eights, and two, two one terabytes, and that equals to nine because uh, you're you're mirroring mirroring them, you know. You're not you're not getting your full, uh, however you uh, put in there. So that would be you would you would technically get more than that if you didn't mirror. But you want to mirror, so if you lose a hard drive, you can swap it back in and fix it so that's what I'm going to be doing with this um, and it'll fix it all but I'm gonna to have to restart all of the the uh, the true NAS stuff but it's fucking sick I'm gonna put it all together and I'll show you guys that once I get that done and I still have no idea what this does please tell me what this does I'm sure it's like to check something, but it doesn't go anywhere for me. I'm sure you can use it in other systems, but I have no idea what it's for. But it's running fine, so without it, so good. I wanted to show you guys it before I close it up. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but I could definitely fit a, another SSD. So what I did was I just kind of got some uh, tape some actual Gorilla Glue. I would use double-sided tape, but I don't have double-sided tape. So I just use Gorilla Glue and, you know, do the folding technique so you can make double-sided tape. It's not the best. Like, it's not... I'd rather have double-sided tape, but it should be fine. It's an SSD. doesn't matter if it's not mounted very correctly. Most people just double-sided tape stuff for the SSD anyway. But if, if I put another SSD in here, I would put it right on top of the other SSD it would be fine and uh, it would fit in here it's kind of sucks that I have a lot of cords from extra stuff that I don't, I'm not using like let's see this PCI slot and stuff stuff that's not being used but I don't want to cut the cord or it's bad to even do that because then you have live wire just sitting there so just keep it all in there but just kind of restricts some airflow but should be fine because the air comes from the, the front or in the back and the, and the fans and it should be fine though but gonna put it to, uh put the lid on now and yeah you guys see it fully done and it'll look nice so one thing about it is this is a lot louder look how loud this is Pretty loud. Not sure what fan it is, but it's pretty, 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 pretty loud. And when you go over to the my NAS, I'll show you that. This is this NAS. You hear basically no fan noise. You'll hear drives going, but no, no fan noise. But I'm gonna be fine with it. Basically, I'm taking these out pretty much right now. I'm gonna turn this off. I took. Basically everything on the files that are already on it and moved onto my computer and then I'm going to be moving it onto that NAS. That one is a lot louder, but I'll get used to it in the room. It'll be fine. <laughs> but I think it's going to be a lot more worth because I'll be able to watch more videos and more stuff off my NAS. So I'm going to be turning this one off and... Basically not, not use it anymore, probably sell it.
Uh, fucking stupid zoom. So, swapping them. So one thing I'm also going to be doing is adding these. So, if you guys don't know what this is, just kind of like a you know, Velcro, Velcro strap to each and every single line. Um, you do this because it dampens it, the hard drives, so they're not as loud. The fans are going to be really loud, but I'm going to probably swap those to a knock to a fan eventually, but I have to cut these to length, so you kind of have to cut them. I just have these laying around, but it dampens your hard drives so they um, aren't as loud. I've done it to the other NAS too, I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. But you just do it in each single line that you're going to put a hard drive. You only put them on one side, not both sides, just one side, because it, it'll make the hard drive too uh, hard to push in. I try to do it with both, but you can only do one. I did it to this one right here, if you guys can see. This is my other NAS. Those are only four. I have to do six of them this time, but it's all, it's all good. So I'm going to do all six of them, and then we'll get her going. Okay, so I have them all in there. It's kind of hard to see, but you guys can see it a little bit. It's a little dark. But all of them in there, and it, the fitment is good. I'll show you guys the fitment. So if you guys don't do this, it's fine, but it's like better because it doesn't rattle. I'll show you the fitment with one of the hard drives. This is the one I was using earlier. But I'm going to add more down the line. But I'll show you the little fitment right here. Now it's a little bit more difficult to put in, but once you slide it in, you push it down. It's a little bit harder to get in there, but once you get it in, it's better. Uh, I might have to do two hands with this, but... And once you get it in there, it's in more secure and won't rattle as much. You might think, oh, it's maybe a uh, fire hazard. Uh, I, I, I don't think it's that bad. Just a little bit of fuzzies, and you're going to get dust in there anyway. And electronics, electronics don't rarely get on fire, but it's possible, but it's not like they're fucking overheating like it's crazy, because there's a fan right on it. So, it should be fine. That's what you kind of do to minimize rattling from hard drives um gonna basically switch over switch the the fans though because the fans are gonna be a problem they're loud as fuck so i'm gonna use noctua fans to fix that so i'm gonna put all the hard drives in i only have two set up right now i gotta put all the other hard drives in here since i'm switching the, from the other nas and then i'm gonna get different hard drives down the line um, and stuff like that. Alright, so, yeah. Okay, so this is a month down the line. Uh, basically, trying to sell the Synology NAS, uh, recently, but move this. I did change out the fans on this NAS, and it is a lot, lot quieter. Uh, you're gonna buy basically two, two, uh, two fans. I'm not going to take it apart to show you guys, but I basically just put a two Noctua fans. You have to make sure that they're, I think they're 18 inches. They're, you have to make sure the sizes are right. I bought other fans, like normal desktop fans, and they did not work. I had to get our server NAS fans. I think they're pretty sure they're 18 millimeters or something like that. Um, and then I also swapped out the power supply uh, uh, fan and that's an, another Noctua fan. You can see the color; it's yellow. The other ones are gray. Uh, they're not the yellow or brown, yellow and brown tinted NAS. But it's it's running fucking fantastic after a couple months. Uh, I still have yet to add more hard drives, and I, uh, financially I just can't do it right now. But eventually down the line, we'll add because right now I only have two eights, and then all of these are just 
I'm basically not even using these, but this is, I'm future-proofing myself to whenever I do want to upgrade, and I'll just move all this storage onto my computer again, and swap it back, and make it a all eights. That's what I'm going to do with all eights when I am fin financially uh, okay with it, but right now I can't do it. Um, just don't have a job at the moment, so. But, I'm trying to sell this one online. Hopefully somebody picks it up. Pretty cheap. 300 bucks. Had it for two years. I did like it. It's just, I, you know, I upgraded and built my own. Um, hope you guys liked the video. If you guys like it, make sure to like, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, maybe I'll do so more stuff like this. Uh, thank you guys.